What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Days of Asian Food. Vegetarian duck is a delicious vegetarian dish that is very popular and it is surprisingly easy to make. It is also even featured on the menu of some Chinese mango dinners. All you need is a large sheet of fresh bean curd skin and some common seasoning that you can get it in your kitchen pantry. The bean curd skin will puff up and nicely brown during defrying, creating a look and a texture that is similar to real meat. And therefore, it is also referred to as mock duck or vegetarian roast goose. I'll show you how to make this vegetarian dish in this video. Keep watching. The recipe is divided into three parts. The first part is to prepare a sauce. The second part is to apply the sauce to the pinker skin. And the final part is to deep fry the pinker skin to become mock meat. Add the following ingredients into a mixing bowl. Light soy sauce. Vegetarian oyster sauce, which is in fact a mushroom extract. Some sugar. Salt, Chinese five spice powder, some ground white pepper, sesame oil, half a cup of water. Give it a mix and then heat it over medium heat in a microwave oven to dissolve the sugar. Get a sheet of bean curd skin and make sure you buy those called fresh bean curd skin that is soft. If you're getting something that is hard and crispy, which we call it fuju, it will break if you try to bend it. So look for dough that is called tofu yi, dou pie, tofu pi and not fu ju. I, I know it is confusing as they are all translated as bean curd skin in English. Now open the sheet of bean curd skin, then cut it into four equal parts. Each part is slightly larger than an A4 paper. I use two of these to make one vegetable dark meat. So I'll keep the other two aside, preferably covered in a plastic bag to prevent them from drying. Use the pinker skin that looks better and without any tearing as the bottom layer, and the other one that is not so perfect as the top layer. Apply the sauce we made just now with a brush onto the first layer generously. The pinker skin will absorb the sauce and become softer. Place the second sheet on top of the first one and apply the sauce onto it just like the first sheet. Don't worry if the sauce does not fully cover the edges because we'll apply to these parts later. Fold both sides of the pinker skin towards the center. And make sure that the rough edge of the binker skin does not protrude out from the side. This step is mainly for better presentation, as we want the vegetarian duck to look good after cooking. Apply more sauce to those areas that are not being covered so far. Fold the binker skin like closing a book towards the center. And apply more sauce and finally close the book. Use two bamboo skewers to pierce through the pinker skin. The purpose is to ensure that they will not open up as they will puff up quite a lot during deep frying. Now put it aside and let it rest for about 10 minutes before deep frying. This step is to ensure that 
the pinker skin has has absorbed all the sauce. Heat some oil in a pan to about 150 degrees Celsius or about 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. You can either use a kitchen thermometer to monitor the temperature or insert a wooden chopstick into the oil. The oil temperature is correct for deep frying if the bubbles are rising from the chopsticks constantly. Deep fry the first side until golden. Then turn to deep fry the other side. The pinker skin will puff up during the process and form a texture that resembles a real dark or goose meat. Transfer it to a paper towel to absorb the excess oil when it's done. Remove the skewers and place it on a cutting board. Cut it into about 1 inch length and you can hear the cracking sound while it is still warm. Now let me show you the texture of the vegetarian duck. It looks so tempting. Dish out and serve. It's best to serve with steamed rice or cut it into small pieces as a substitute for meat for stir frying. That's how to make this vegetarian dish that tastes and looks like real meat. If you'd like to get a recipe, I've included it in the description below the video. And don't forget to subscribe tap the notification and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.